Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Python and welcome to the very, very first episode of a brand new Terraria series, guys. Now, if you can't tell already, I am pretty hyped about this one because, and I bet you weren't expecting this, this is Python's Realm Season 2. So for those of you guys who don't know, Python's Realm back in the day was a generic Terraria playthrough on a large world. No class restrictions, it was just plain Terraria as it was intended to be. Just playing, I guess. So... What I'm going to go and do, we're going to create ourselves a new character. We're going to create ourselves a brand new large expert mode world. I'm going to make that clear from the outset. This will be expert mode. And uh, yeah, we'll get into what's going to be going on in this series and with the channel momentarily. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, inside of a brand new Terraria world. And I've got to tell you guys, I think I say this at the start of every Terraria series, but there's nothing better than the feeling of a brand new Terraria world. I don't know, man. It's the same with Minecraft as well. You, you spawn in a brand new world, a world that has been untouched by civilization and the civilization of which you are the one to create. Like, you feel like God. It's pretty cool, guys. It really, really is. Now, guys, if you're excited for the series, a like rating would be super appreciated. Help get it out there, my friends. It would be really, really very much appreciated. And it shows me that you guys are still excited for Terraria content on the channel. So, good day to you sir you need to die look at my character do i not look amazing it almost kind of matches the terraria character that is in my youtube banner which is kind of awesome oh that guy's holding looks like that guy is holding a uh, iron skin potion that's a pretty good start right ah i'll take an iron skin potion on first day that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool wait i wonder if i could get down there pick up that wood and come back up i hope i can we're gonna try it boom down there up there up there, yeah, I'm a parkour pro, guys. So, a lot of you guys who are existing subscribers to my channel, you're going to be wondering about what the heck's going on because this would be like the third Terraria series I started in uh, so many, so much time, like so many weeks. So, I don't know. So, I want to go ahead and talk about that in this video, and I want to sort of start it out by talking about it because I feel like it would be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't talk about it. But, uh, in a nutshell, this is going to be the only Terraria series going out. And not just that, this is going to be the final Terraria playthrough I do before I take a bit of a break until new content comes out for the vanilla Terraria game, okay? Because at this point, I'm starting to feel, and I think the community in general are all starting to feel that, hey, the game is starting to get a little bit, you know... There's not been any new content for a fair while. And while mods are awesome, it's not vanilla and therefore it's not accessible to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that is the announcement in that this is going to be the final Terraria series before I take a break. Rather similar to how in Terraria 1.2, with my mage playthrough, I took a break from uh, there on on until 1.3 came out. And then I came back and it was awesome. So, yeah, like I say, this is my final Terraria playthrough before I take a break before new content for Terraria comes out. And I'm sorry to say, but uh, 1.3.6 it's only a micro update it probably won't be big enough to warrant me starting a new playthrough so yeah but uh, hey look at it this way this is absolutely not going to be a short series by any any stretch of the imagination okay so yeah it's a big world. It's a big world. There's loads of things we can be doing. It's a hub world. We can do whatever the heck we want. We can we can play however the heck we want, whether it be mage, warrior, ranger. We can do anything that we want, guys. And I'm looking forward to it. I really do enjoy playing Terraria without there being any, like, silly limits that we put on ourselves. I mean, while it's interesting to play class playthroughs, I feel like they're very limited in terms of gameplay. And they can get a little bit annoying at times. So, uh, yeah. Uh, sir, you need to die. You need to die, sir. Go up. Go on, buddy. Blue slime, get out of here. So, uh, yeah, as for my reasoning for taking a break after this playthrough is over, which, by the way, isn't for a very, very long time yet. So, once again, you don't have to worry that it's going to be imminent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've done so many, so many Terraria Let's Plays in the past that I just, I just kind of feel like I should move on to other types of content up until, you know, like I say, some new Terraria content itself comes out. And, uh, yeah... Like I say, this will be my final Terraria playthrough until a new major update, or obviously Terraria. Otherwise, if that comes out before then, that'd be kind of awesome. But like I say, it's a massive series, not a short one by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, as this is a hub world as well, uh, you know, like I say, we could do whatever we want. And on top of that, we're going to be bringing back the comment question of the video. And for the first time in a Terraria series, 
We're going to be doing fan art showcases as well. So if you guys have any Terraria related fan art that you'd like to send in for a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out, then uh, head down below the video, check out the email address of which you send in your fan art to, and then bada bing bada boom, you'll be good to go, my friends. So, yeah. I'm kind of looking for, forward to seeing what you guys do because uh, even before this series uh, started, I already had like a whole bunch of epic fan art uh, sent in that was Terraria related, which I showcased, I think it was in my Minecraft survival series. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys do because I know a lot of you guys are really creative and amazing at drawing out there. So, yeah, cool stuff. Right, Ev everybody needs to die and such. Like, for real, you, you actually need to die. Please, please. Please do go away. I really don't want you around it. I've just realized how much wood I've got. 500? I've got 500 bits of wood? Are you crazy, man? Jeez, man. I've never had such a large amount of uh, wood blocks in my life. That's crazy, dude. Right, so, as per the norm, we're going to make ourselves a rudimentary housing system. It's not going to be the best looking thing in the world, but it's going to be a temporary build up until uh, we get ourselves some uh, some better stuff, I guess. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that'll be the wall. There we go. Okie doke. So let's get ourselves a workbench going, and uh, yeah, we'll get some uh, get some generic bits and bobs going here. So uh, yeah, so yeah, moving on from that, this series is going to be replacing both the Calamity Mage and Warrior playthroughs because, like I say, as I mentioned before, I kind of wanted to, you know, call it a day. I just want one massive series of Terraria to sort of finish it off, and that's it. So you guys can like focus on one central series rather than you know many and you know having to remember what series is what you know what i'm saying so uh yeah that's all good and dandy so i hope you guys understand why i'm doing this and i hope you understand uh, you know why i'm wanting to have a little bit of a break when it comes down to it because you know as i keep saying uh, terraria it can only keep you it can only keep you going so long can't it <laughs> and believe me terraria has kept me going for a ridiculous amount of time. It really, really has. It is so, so crazy just how long I've played Terraria for. Like, I am nearly sitting at 1,700 hours according to Steam. And that's without accounting for the hours that I put into the game outside of Steam as well. So even before Steam was a thing, I did have a copy of Terraria. And, uh, yeah, I was still playing Terraria even before Steam. So... Yeah, that was pretty cool. So if I was to estimate, I'd say I have over 2,000 hours on Terraria, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Anyways, uh, let's get ourselves a sword. Let's try that again. Let's get ourselves a sword. There we go. I am not about to have bad ones, okay? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't about that life. You know what I'm saying? Um, eh, minus size, that's not too bad, as long as it's not minus speed. I guess that's kind of okay. Frenzying? No. Why? Why are you get? Look at this, man. Weak? No. Frenzying? No. I don't want you, man. I want good stuff. I want good stuff. Jeez. I'll tell you something. It's just crazy. So, uh, yeah, going on from what I was saying before, with only having one Terraria series, it allows me to be able to start doing other content, such as non-Let's Play Terraria content, like guides, tutorials, builds, uh, more Is It Possible episodes as well. I've been wanting to do some of those for a long time now, but I've never really had the time uh, to do that, but uh, me having only one Terraria series kind of allows me to do that, so I'm pretty happy about that, and uh, yeah, those those videos are actually really, really fun to make, so I hope you guys are looking forward to more episodes of that series, because I'm certainly uh, looking forward to getting some more going for you guys, I really, really am. But uh, yeah, in addition to all of that, it does also allow me to start branching out into playthroughs of other games. So I should probably clarify this as well, even though Minecraft has split off onto its own channel, that was never ever, ever to say that this was going to become a Terraria only channel. For those of you guys who made that presumption, I'm afraid you're wrong, because that's not what's happening. This, uh, this channel is actually destined to become like a, a survival-like games channel. So obviously Terraria is like the main thing right now, because it's the only thing going out right now. But there are other survival games that I want to go ahead and do on the channel. In terms of the sort of shortlist for the other games I want to play, 
Things like Seven Days to Die, I'd quite like to bring that back because I really, really enjoyed that game. I'd also like to bring back Subnautica, preferably when the full release eventually comes out. I'd also like to do survival, not survival games. <laughs> well, they are kind of survival games, aren't they? Uh, I'd also like to do City Skylines, which is less, a, less of a survival game, more of a strategy game. And then the other thing I really want to do at some point is Ark Survival Evolved. I'm not entirely sure in which order I'm going to be doing these games, but that is the short list of games that are to come on this channel. So when those games come out, for those of you guys who are interested, you can obviously go ahead and check them out. If not, then, uh, you know, no worries. But for those of you guys who do stick around and watch all of the other content, Thank you very much for embracing other content. I really do appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who are like Terraria elitists out there who are like, oh no, Terraria is the only good game out there. Screw everything else. Then I'm sorry I have that viewpoint, but there are other games that exist. And that's just how it is. So yeah. But like I said, this Terra this uh, series, this uh, channel was never destined to become just a Terraria channel. It just so happens I've only really had time to do Terraria content. So yeah. Anyways, so we have ourselves two houses here, guys, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just get myself another couple up here. I think that'd be a nice idea right here. There we go. Uh, four NPCs, so we could get, like, the nurse, the merchant, maybe demolitionist. That'd be kind of cool as well, you know? We got all these things we can do, man. And I'm looking forward to it. I am. I'm honestly looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, shenanigans we get up to in this world. Like, I'm honestly wanting to build, like, settlements all over the place. I know I said I'd do that in Python's Rump Season 1, but I kind of wound up uh, ending that one. But this time, I really do want to try and get on that because, you know, I'd love to be able to start creating settlements in other biomes. Obviously, in Python's Rump Season 1, we had the desert base, which was, like, the start of that. And that was a really, really cool project, and I really, really enjoyed it. It was, like, one of my favorite things that I did uh, in Terraria. Like, just in general. Like, I, I really, really enjoy making that build. So, you know, maybe when it comes down to it, we can even make builds in, uh, for example, we can make builds in the underworld. I mean, I don't think anybody is able to live in the underworld in terms of NPCs, but I think it would still be a cool idea to do, like, a hell-related build. Like, a, a mushroom settlement in a mushroom biome underground, you know? All that kind of stuff. There's loads and loads of things. There really, really is loads and loads of things which I can think of doing, which would, uh, you know, be a really, really cool idea. You know, an underground settlement just in general. So us becoming a hermit in Terraria, essentially, that would be pretty cool. You know, there's just so many things. There really is so many, many things going on that I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. Like I say, if you guys are hyped for this series, then like I say, a, a like rating would be super appreciated. It shows that you guys are still uh, em embracing and hyped for Terraria vanilla content. It kind of, If you guys drop like ratings on this video, then it will go ahead and disprove what I have been thinking in that uh, vanilla content is getting stale. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's getting a little bit stale. Maybe some of you guys are thinking it's getting a little bit stale. I have no idea. I have no idea. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and... Uh, do a little bit of that. We're going to head down here real quick. There was an eyeball on the way down. Oh, jeez. There's a freaking zombie with a sword. Oh, no. Please don't come down. Please don't come down. Oh, I don't want to die, man. Oh, he's coming down. He's coming. Oh, no. It's a dead end. This is the death. This is our first death, guys. This is it. Unless I do that. Can I, like, tickle his toes or something? Uh, do we have stone around here? I mean, I've got stone around here. I mean, um, if I can help it then I don't want to be dying a whole bunch. Because yes, the death counter is making a return in this series, but I don't want to have to use it, man. Because I don't want to die, you know? That would just suck. It would be very, very silly. Right, uh, arrows? Hey, look at that, man. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Uh, 325. Let's make ourselves some of these. There we go. And then we got a whole bunch of gel as well, which is pretty awesome. Right, so... Can I do this without dying? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first major predicament of the series. Oh, there we go. I hit him. I hit him. Come on, boys. Boom. Boom. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on, then. Come on, then. I'm going to take you all down, son. Come on, then. You're on fire, son. I'm the one who's on fire. Look at my aiming skills. Look at that, man. Let's go. Ah, oh, I wasn't worried. I was not worried in the slightest. Ah. <laughs> oh. I am a happy, happy bunny. Can I make it up there? Ah, oh, dang it. No, I can't. Do I have any ropes? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Well, Python, you have uh, not been very productive in your day, have you? You might have four NPC houses, but you don't seem to have anything else going on for you, do you? Yes, silly idiot. I'll tell you something. 
Sometimes I outdo myself with just how silly I can be. Jeez, man. Right, I'm going to go up here. I think it would be a good idea if I were to make uh, some platforms rather like this. Uh, eh, eh, that'll do. That'll do. Nice one. Uh, and yeah, should we try and explore the world? Would that be a good idea? Are there any like proper cave entrances around? I mean, I can't really see any, which is kind of a bad thing. I don't know, man. There's like zombies. I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of them. If I can not have eyeball spawn, that'd be fantastic. Oh, and there's one. Gosh freaking darn, man. I thought I was being pretty good. Right, let's have a look down here. There is a chest. I'm hoping that there's going to be some rope. And there is. Hey, look at that, man. Right, we can... Oh, we've also got recall potions. Okay, all of that stuff is actually pretty useful. Fantastic. Hey, buddy. All right. So, like I say, if we can uh, help it, then I would very much like to avoid dying and such. You, sir, need to die. How much health does he have? 110. Are you kidding, man? Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on, boys. We are currently playing as a ranger because that's like the thing that's doing the most damage at the moment. Come on. Come on. Kill the zombies with the swords because they do way too much damage. Get wrecked. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Let's go down here. We're going into the caves now, apparently. We've been pushed down into the caves by the zombies of the realm. I don't like it, man. Hey, a spear. Nice, man. I am a big fan of spears. Hell yeah, dude. And we also got ourselves some shurikens. But check this out, guys. The thing that I love about spears is the amount of knockback they do. As you can see, it easily, easily keeps the zombies at bay. Whereas with things like the wood sword and, uh, and the bow, both things do either weak or no knockback. Whereas this does strong knockback, which makes it a pretty formidable weapon early game on your first night. So if you can find yourself a spear on your first day, then you're pretty much set. You're pretty much set. Alright, what do we got? Throwing knives. Not a bad... I mean, look at this. We've got, we got all of these throwing weapons now, dude. This is cool. Wow. Okay. And we've got some stars as well, which is always nice to see. Uh, let's pick this up. We have ourselves a strange plant. Might as well pick it up. And for some reason, we seem to have a mini desert down here. Why is there a mini desert down here, man? What the heck? Yeah, bro, you got to die. you got to die, son. you got 112 health. You've got more max health than I do. But I'll tell you something. It ain't going to do you any justice because guess what? You're dead. You're, you're even deader than you already were, son. What you gonna do? Right. Should I have a look down here? Should we chuck some ropes down? We've got 266 of them now, which I guess is kind of cool. Wow, that goes down a fairly long way, huh? Uh, boom. Right. Uh, I mean, I'm not seeing anything. I mean, I can see some gems over here. Kind of interested to pick some of those up. It is emerald, which I guess is cool. Hey. Hey, dudes, if we can get ourselves 15 emerald... Or 15 of any gem, we can make ourselves a grappling hook straight off the rip. Which is kind of nice. i tell you what else would be nice, is being able to breathe. <laughs> right, so let's head over this way. And we're going to grab these gems as well. I mean, at the very least, if we don't get enough for the, uh, for the thing... Thing. I'm very descriptive, aren't I? If I don't get enough for a hook, then maybe I can make myself a gem staff. Right? That'd be pretty cool. I don't know, though. But I don't know. Right, what's going on over here? Ooh, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not seeing anything decent. I can see some cobwebs. I don't think it's really worth going for, though, because it's going to mean that I have to dig out all of this sand. It's just going to take ages and ages, dude. And I just... I don't want to, man. I don't want to just sit there doing nothing but swinging my pick. I don't think that would make for a very good video. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, uh, I'll tell you what, though. I wouldn't mind just, like, picking up a bunch of ores. I mean, why not? So, I can't remember. I think it's Amethyst and Copper Bars from Amethyst Staff, right? Is that how it goes? I think it is. I can't remember how many gems you need, though. I have a feeling it's something like eight. I could be wrong, though. I'm hoping I'm wrong because, uh, you know, being wrong is actually kind of good sometimes. <laughs> Learning new stuff. I'm never opposed to it. Right. So... Uh, let's put a block up here. I mean, we could just go ahead and use a, a recall potion, but I'm thinking maybe I want to explore over this side. Maybe we could find something else, right? Be a cool idea. Boom. There we go. Up we go. And I've just realized my uh, mini-map is zoomed in quite far. <laughs> it doesn't need to be zoomed in that far, man. What are you doing? Oh, dear. Right. So let's continue on. Uh, let's place a block there. Uh, okay, so yeah, things are starting to get a little bit... 
treacherous now. Let's put down a torch. Oh no! Here's some dudes. Come on, man. I need to kill you before a whole bunch of other dudes spawn in, preferably. Uh, three enemies nearby. Oh, jeez. This is where the downfall comes, isn't it, guys? This is where the downfall comes. If I can make my way into this little cave up here, maybe I'll be okay. I have no idea. I can't see any enemies within it, which is why I'm kind of thinking it might be all right. But you never know, dude. You never know when a enemy might just come out of the woodwork and is like, Oh, hey, bro. Would you like to die? Yeah? Yeah, you want to die? Well, here you go, then. Oh. Hey, man. I'll take that, though. Oh, an umbrella. Nice one. Okay. So we can now become Mary Poppins. Fantastic, man. I'm absolutely... I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic with that. Heck yeah. Right. And now the hordes are coming back to try and claim their treasure. Bro, it's not going to work. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. And so can you. Go on, buddy. Just get wrecked. Go on. How about we get a zombie on on our first night? Would that not be one of the coolest starts ever? Hmm. <laughs> I think that'd be one of the coolest starts ever. That'd be awesome. Right. Uh, uh. Ooh, okay, managed to avoid him. Got some mushrooms for eventual potions. And now we've got an eyeball afterwards, which I've got to be honest, I'm not so hyped about that. <sighs> okay, I can't see anything. Let's put a torch on this tree so I can at least see what's going on. Ooh. Okay, and now we have the hordes. We have the hordes coming in, guys. Okay. Well, the spear is... Oh, a shackle. Hey, man, we got ourselves our first piece of defense, which is pretty cool. Once I put that on... Come on, buddy. Get destroyed. There we go. Let's put that on. Right, where's the eyeball gone? Eyeball? He's gone away somewhere. I don't get it. I'm pretty sure I didn't kill him either. Huh. I don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Well, what's over here? This looks like a proper cave entrance. Ooh, yee. I'll tell you what. This exploration trip is not going too bad, is it, guys? It's not going too bad. I'm definitely happy... Oh my god, that was a voice break. <laughs> oh my lord. I swear to god, I'm 22 years old. I'm not 12. I'm 22. <laughs> oh. But I swear to god, everything's going well so far. Everything's going well. Like, we haven't died. We've got this guy over here, which I guess is cool. Wait, has it become daytime? There's slime spawning. That leads me to believe that it is daytime. Yeah, there's slime spawning. Okay, cool. Swiftness potion. I'll take it. We got some more torches. Cool. Got some more chests. Oh my word. More Mary Poppins umbrellas. Fantastic, dude. I can't tell you how amazed I am at the spawn. Like, we've got little chests everywhere. There's yet another chest down here, guys. With a blowpipe. Which is uh, something I don't use very often. It has to be said. Um, but what do we think? We need to get something off our hot bar. There we go. We'll take the uh, hammer off. And then we can use, or start using the blowpipe, which is a weapon, admittedly, that I don't use very much. And there's probably a good reason for it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to have a quick look around here. Uh, right, so there's nothing over there. I don't think there's anything up there either. Yeah. Oh! Hey, man! What do you guys think? Hermes boots? Magic mirror? All of that kind of stuff would be nice. Oh my god, come on man. This would be a fantastic point to end the episode. Can you imagine having an episode one Hermes boots? That would be incredible. I would actually- ugh, That is a trap. I would actually be so happy with that. I really, really would be. But this is a pretty cool start to a cave system, my friends. So we're probably going to explore this in the next episode. But to finish off this one, let's check this out in three, two, one, boom! Band of regeneration. Do you know what? That's pretty cool. I'll take it. I like a band of regeneration. Any health regeneration is good health regeneration. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm definitely not going to be complaining. And also, you saw right there, I picked up a free anvil, which I'm pretty happy about. So I don't need to waste a bunch of lead or iron getting some of that. So, yeah, not bad. Not, not bad. I am very happy with what we've managed to do in this episode, guys. Very happy indeed. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for our first ever episode. So let's head back out and... Oh, we spawned right next to him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this first ever episode of Python's Realm Season 2, do be sure to drop a like rating. It'll be super duper appreciated, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on future content, my friends. And that is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do hope you guys are excited for this series to come. There's a lot of things to come. A lot of things to come. And I hope you guys are hyped about it. And yeah, the merchant is hyped about it as well because he's just spawned in. Hey, you want to join the party there, buddy? <laughs> 
Sweet. But guys, thank you so much for watching once again. Really appreciate your continued support. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the future episodes. See you later.